So I kind of wanted to do this thing where I wasn't on camera, but I had the Jaws theme playing, and I would, like, move back and forth, but not sit down. And as it crescendos, eventually I just sit down. I kind of realized that joke wasn't really that funny. And also, who knows about, like, all these copyright issues. And meanwhile, lastly, and most importantly, I would save that for a movie about a much better shark movie, honestly, than this. This is not going to be a pretty review. So, Meg to the Trench was directed by Ben Wheatley, and it stars Jason Statham once again returning in this movie after previously starring in The Meg. And this time around, instead of one Megalodon, there's now three Megalodons out there that are now terrorizing this beach resort. And now, Jonas, Jason Statham and his team, they now have to, you know, get all those sharks, kill them and such, before they basically kill everyone at that village. Uh, at least that's what the movie promises it's about, but, like, the actual movie itself is very, very misleading from what the trailers are like, but I'll get to that. So, I was not a fan of the first Meg movie. I felt like it wasn't... I felt like it took itself way too seriously. It wasn't goofy enough. It was just kind of like... It would try to be both goofy and serious, and I just felt like it couldn't really pick a tone, and it just... It was honestly boring. I didn't really care for the characters. It was just not a great movie, if I'm being honest. So... I was obviously not looking forward to the Meg 2. Like, how could this movie be any different from the first movie? Meg 2 makes me appreciate the Meg more. And I never thought I would say that ever. So, yeah, this movie's bad. It's really bad. So, is there anything about the movie I do like? There are a couple things. I'll be fair. There are a few decent shots here and there. Like, when they're in the trenches, that looks pretty cool. Um, also, like, there are a couple scenes where it's like during, the uh, during all the shark action. It's like, okay... That, that looks cool. That looks like a lot of fun. The last act of this movie is pretty much what you want from this movie. And it by that even though by that point it's too little too late, but like once it finally gets there, it's like, finally, let's get into this. It's like, it's, it's ridiculous. It's over the top. This is kind of what I want this movie to be. It's like, yeah, it, it's like I kind of don't expect logic from this movie, but like it's a movie that tries to inject logic for the first two thirds of this movie. But like the last act is like, this is kind of what I wanted to see from this movie. So I was glad for that. And among the actors in this movie, the only one that I was all great with was uh, Paige Kennedy. I didn't really like him in the first movie that much, but here his jokes are a little bit funnier. And I actually kind of felt like he had much more presence in this movie. Everything else about this movie is awful. Everything else about this movie is bad. It's so bad. My main issue with this movie, where are the damn sharks? This movie is two hours long, and the main action doesn't really take place until, like... An hour 20, an hour 15 into this movie. And yet it just focuses on these human villains in this movie. It is so... Just... Why? Why does this movie about killer sharks need three human villains in it? Why? Yeah, we had a human villain in Jaws. But... That villain worked. That villain had, like, character. It had He had reasons, like, why he was doing the things that he was doing. Eventually got his comeuppance. And these characters are just so plainly written. They're just written to be evil for the sake of being evil. Why do they need to be in this movie at all? You could have saved us a whole lot of time from this movie. It's like, why? Just why? Yeah, Rain Wilson was a jerk in the first Meg movie, but, you know, he wasn't at least the main villain of the movie, and they realized the main threat was the sharks the whole time. But this movie doesn't even do that. And I could forgive this movie if it, like, was at least campy or was at least ridiculous and over the top. And at times it is, but, like, it takes itself way too seriously for the first two acts. So by the time it gets to that third act, which is, like, really crazy, it's too little too late. And I'm just, like, not as interested because you just bored me with the first hour and 15 of this movie. And meanwhile, it's like, okay, well, this is movie is meant to be, like, a CGI spectacle. It's like, why is, why is that a problem? Because the CGI in this movie is awful. Like, really awful. Like, a lot of these monsters just look atrocious. Like, there's this one, like, Kraken thing that's in this movie... It looks bad. There's, like, these other smaller creatures that attack at various points in this movie, which... It doesn't make sense how they appear in, in this movie, but, like, they just look awful, too. Like, how does this movie that probably costs, like, 100, 200 million to make have CGI that's this lousy? It's bad. It looks atrocious. It is horrible. And, again, kind of like the first movie. It takes itself way too seriously. Like, the first two-thirds of this movie... It just takes stuff way too seriously, and a lot of the jokes don't land, a lot of the action's boring, a lot of the scares are just boring, you see them coming from a mile away, it's just not fun. And also, I didn't really care for the score of this movie either, because at times it just reminded me of the Jaws theme. 
Like, come on. I get that every shark movie that's going to come out from that. Every shark movie that's come out since Jaws is going to borrow heavily from that movie. But this is almost ripping it off. Like, ripping something off from it. Like, you can at least try to do something different in this movie. I mean, they did. With all these human villains in it. Just why? Just why? And also, like, there's this one moment... There's this one mention of a character who... Who was in the first movie, who's not in this movie, and it's implied that they're dead. Why? Just why? Why do you need to have that character dead? It makes no sense to me. But then again, I'm asking for logic in a movie about killer sharks. I really shouldn't be asking for that. And yet this movie wants us to have logic at the same time. It's weird. It's a bad movie. I hated The Meg 2. I hated it more than the first movie. The first movie bored me. This movie... This movie bored me even more. I really couldn't think of anything more interesting, but then again, they really couldn't think of anything more interesting for the Meg 2. So even though there's a few good shots here and there, and admittedly the last act can be fun, it's too little too late by the time you get to it because the first two acts of this movie are incredibly boring. The human villains are just horribly written. The Most of the actors are just okay in this movie. No one really stands out. It can't really pick a tone between like being goofy and serious. It's not... When it tries to be funny, it's not funny. When it tries to be scary, it's not scary. The action is terrible in this movie. It's just not a good time. If you, you'd you have so much better... You'd have a much better time watching most other shark movies out there than this one. Just... Yikes. This one was bad. Holy shit. I will give Meg to the Trench 1 out of 4 stars. Skip it. So, what's your favorite shark movie out there? Besides Jaws, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, this is Pat, stay safe.